Welcome, welcome to Angry Appliance Repair Person. For the record, you're looking at them. This presentation is going to be about hoods. Now, there are two kinds of hoods most people know. You have your regular kitchen hood, and you have a microwave that you put off your counter, which acts like a hood. So, this presentation is going to be about why don't they suck anything out of my house? So you have, for this one example, a nice expensive hood hanging on the wall that goes up a vent pipe and vents outside. So it's February. The house is closed up because it's cold outside. At least where I live, it's cold outside in February. And you don't have any windows open. And you are basically trying to you are frying some fish on your stove. And you are noticing that the smell is lingering throughout the house. But yet your hood is on. So if your hood is on and you hear it running, why isn't it drawing anything out? This is going to be a little complicated for some people. You must have air in to get air out. New homes with foam insulation are insulated very, very, what we call tight. That means that there's no air leaks. You've got fantastic insulation throughout your house, which is keeping the warm air in, cold air out. So when you have your house closed up for the winter and you're inside and it's snowing outside and you still want your hood to work, if you don't have enough air movement in your house, there is no air into the hood. So therefore, there is no air out of the hood. So it sounds like it's working, but you don't have the air flow. You must have air in to get air out. Some builders will put in what's called a makeup air damper. It is a metal piece that goes into the wall somewhere in the hood area that when the hood turns on, the damper opens, lets the air in so it can be drawn out. Older homes, they don't have very good insulation in some cases, so they really don't need to worry about not having enough air because you've got plenty of air leaking just naturally in the house. But these newer homes, some of the service calls I do, the people call me out and they say, my hood's on, I can hear it. I can go outside and look at the damper outside and it's open. So why is my smell staying in my house? It's very simple. You don't have the air in to get the air out. Plus, with hoods, it does take someone to figure out to make sure that the motor is the right size, to make sure the venting is the right size. So that should be done by someone who understands the calculations to be able to figure that out. But the bottom line is, with these new hoods in a home that is newer, if the house is too tight, you are going to hear the hood, but you will not get any air movement. The only way you can test it, do not call the serviceman, because you're going to pay the serviceman to come out and say, let's open this window. And when we open the window, we will see if we have enough airflow. So you open the window when you have something cooking and see if it takes it out. If it does, that means your house is so tight, you do not have enough airflow to get that air to move. So it moves the air out of the house and outside. Sometimes you can add a makeup air damper. Sometimes you can't. It just depends on how your house is set up. But during construction, most builders will figure this out and put a makeup air damper in near the hood. But for the people that don't have them, you have to decide, do you just not have good air movement in the winter? Or are you going to open a window near the hood to get some of that air movement? But if you hear the fan and you go outside and you can see the flapper moving, but yet you are not getting any draw that normally says to you, I do not have enough air. Keep that in mind. Now, the microwave. The microwave is not a very good hood. I have said that in the past on other presentations about the microwaves, but I want to stress one thing in this case. So most of the microwaves, when they vent, they do not pull from the bottom outside. They pull from the electronic area of the control pad to keep it cool. So you are not getting 100% draw here. You might be getting 55 or 60%. The rest of it is coming from here to keep it cool. A regular hood, you have full 100% movement. A microwave does not do that. That's why microwaves make lousy hoods. Now, there are a microwave or two out there that are designed to have a better venting, but you have to check for that, therefore pay more for it. 
but your standard, ordinary, everyday, over-the-range microwave, they are basically not going to have very good vent... Uh, what now, smartest man in the house? I was just talking about the microwave. Why are you giving me that stupid look? Yes, I know, I know, I'm getting there. God, you're so impatient. So, the way that the microwaves vent, the grease filters on the bottom always play a part. And obviously, a microwave and a hood, as the smartest man in the house just pointed out, you have to make sure that it's vented outside. Some people think it's vented outside, but in reality, it's not. They can be recirculated. So, the air comes through the microwave and goes out the top. So, it comes in the bottom, and out the top. If you have a hood that's recirculating, it comes in the bottom, and there are normally holes on each side of the cover that blow it out the side. Honestly, I don't see the point in that. It really doesn't do much. You are just recirculating the smell through a charcoal filter. So if you have that type, there will be a charcoal filter here, and possibly inside the hood underneath where the grease filters are that you must replace or clean. So most charcoal filters cannot be replaced. Uh, excuse me, can be cleaned. They must be replaced. The grease filters can be cleaned. So you always want to make sure that the grease filters are clean. If it is not vented outside, make sure the charcoal filter, you shine it up to a light and make sure you can see through it. If you can, you're okay. If it's blocked, you must replace it. But I don't see much of a point in recirculating it through a charcoal filter in your house. I'm sorry, I just don't think it works. But if it's vented outside, whether it's the microwave or the hood, the hoods do a very good job of moving air out as long as you have air coming in. The microwave is okay if it's vented outside, but it's not nearly what a hood does. It's better, it's better to have something, but it is not nearly as good as a hood. Keep that in mind. So, for the senile thought each week, I'm going to talk about brick and mortar, as I say, versus the computer. Where should you buy? Now, an old man born in the 60s like me, I would always go to a store. That's the way I was brought up. If I want to buy a washer, a dryer, a refrigerator, a range, a car, a toaster, I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy one there. But a lot of the younger generation, oh, they never leave their house. They just stay in the house all the time. They get their computer, they go on a website, and they buy it off the website. They don't get in the car, and they don't drive to a store and buy. They just stay home, and they buy it online. Now, I admit, I buy stuff online. I bought this camera online that I'm talking on right now. But the reason I did that is because I couldn't find this camera locally where I live. I couldn't find it. So I had to get it online. There are certain things that you have to buy online because the stores do not carry them. I agree. But if this particular customer does not go to this store to buy what he wants, that store won't be there. And that's the problem. We have to get off our kistas and we have to go to the stores at times to buy things to keep the store there. If you don't go to the stores to buy stuff, the stores will not be there. And then one time you may want to go to the store to buy some pants and you want to try those pants on, but the store's not there because you never went there. So I am very passionate about this, you can probably tell. So to keep these stores open and to keep small businesses going, you must go see them. So, yes, you do have to get out of the house. Yes, you have to get in the car. But at least you can go to the store, give them some business, and keep them open. It is nice to buy stuff on the internet, especially when you can't find what you want. But the stores, to keep them open, you must go. As we say, everything's good in moderation. So, do both. Go to the store to buy some things. Buy some things on the internet, but don't just solely buy stuff on the internet because that store will no longer be there. There are a lot of small businesses that close because they just don't have enough customers because they buy on the internet and not at the store. And there is, it's a shame that small town America cannot keep their stores open because they just don't have enough business because people are not leaving their horses and walking to the store, which I know is a really bad concept for a younger person, but get up, walk. If you live in the cities, walk to the store and buy something. Why not? Good exercise. Get out every once in a while. Don't just stay in the house and play on the phone and the computer all day. So please keep that in mind. Keep our stores in business. Go to the store every once in a while. Buying on the internet is fine. Do both. 
just don't focus on the computer. Think about it. And as always, we thank you for spending some of your day with us.